many, many people have given me that kind of gift, the uh, small thing that didn't look important. I'm thinking right now of my uh, teacher in first grade, Gary McCaslin, his name was. Such a kind man. Um, all I remember is his beard right now and the feeling of safety I had being around him and his kindness. I don't remember anything that he specifically said to me, but somehow his, his being imprinted itself in me. Who knows, without that influence, who knows what I would be doing today? Who knows what kind of asshole I might've turned into if this humble, invisible, person, this, this ordinary man hadn't intersected with my life. You know, maybe anything I do in this world should be attributed to him just as much as to anybody else. Yeah, we're all in it together. Well, I mean, and which role is yours to have? Is, yours, is your role to be the public speaker? <laughs> you know, like, it's kind of nice, you know, people are telling you how great you are and how important you are and they're celebrating you. Or is it your role to be that first grade teacher who gives the public speaker or gives the important person, who gives the future president, who gives that person a bit of love in a dark time and changes who they express themselves as 30 years later, 50 years later? How do you know what your role is? You cannot reason that out. Yet, the knowledge of when to act and how to act is, is given to us. It's just not through the mechanism of the mind, usually. It's through the heart, through the gut, through the bones. <laughs> <laughs>